today we are doing a video about volume eating. So as I'm going through my day, usually on my court, I'm thinking about what foods are gonna fill me up the most and what's gonna make it easiest to stick to these calories. And I had this thought, what if I attempt to have an optimal day in that sense? And basically hit my calories in the most satisfying, satiating, while still being nutritious way. So that's what I'm gonna to do today. I have reduced my calories from my usual cutting calories of 2,500 to 2,000, just to make it harder, mate, because I love a fucking challenge. And so, go on, love. I don't know if you're allowed to say love. Are you allowed to call people love anymore? Probably not, man. Um, <laughs> so, we're going to Asda, we're gonna get some food in, I'm gonna show you the most optimal way to get to the end of the day on cutting cows while still being full as fuck. Okay, we're doing it. <laughs> 250, that'll do. I need tender stem, mate. I need posh broccoli. That little guy. Oh, I don't know, moldy yet, mate. One. Key. Ooh, mint might be nice. A bit of cucumber. A bit of cucumber. Is that? Half a cucumber. Is that weird, mate? Is it by half a cucumber? Fuck okay, it, I'm doing it. Ooh, ooh, now. Light, mate. Is that fuck light? Yeah, these are not light. Yeah, it's not happening. I'm making me own one. Fuck it. What are you saying? Nah. Alright, I'm making me own dressing. Fat free, nutty. Not low fat. I need fat free, mate. White wine vinegar, mate. That's what I need. Going up on a final element. This is key, right? It's not cheap. It's probably the worst way. Probably the worst money to calorie ratio you can ever fucking think of. But 10 cal jellies, mate. This shit. This is shit a lifesaver, man. Actually, as does own ones are better than the Hartley's ones. They're weird. They taste like alcoholic and shit. I'm gonna smash a few of these, mate. Let's go. I'm gonna grab Monster on the way out. Yes, yes. Step one. Fizzy drinks. Caffeinated drinks, mate. How many cows we got? Calorie count, we're on 10. 10 cows for the day, mate. That's it. Video over. See you later. We are. Shit, I'm eating a tomato and I have to log it because you've seen me eat it. Alright, first up we're going to do an omelette. It's going to be an egg white omelette, wait there. It's going to get me plug in. A bulk powder's egg white omelette. Now, since it's an egg white omelette, we're going to have to zhuzh it the fuck up with flavour because obviously we know egg whites are bland as a motherfucker. So, I've got basil, oregano, smoked paprika, turmeric, turmeric, however you say it. I'm gonna fry a bit of turkey bacon, that's low calorie fuck and tastes just like bacon. A bit of rocket, because rocket is like officially the most flavorful leaf. And a couple of little shrooms, mate. That's it, let's do it. Filthy mate, it's still not quite done. Smash! I feel when you get a square omelette mate. Wow, that's a fucking thing of beauty. A bit more rocket just for the flaves. Smash! It's fucking hotter than the sun. We gotta get a taste test. Mmm! It's hot but fucking delightful. The whole point is to get in as high volume as food for as little calories. And on that note, I have here almost 400 grams of strawberries for, I think strawberries are about 30 something cals per 100 grams, which is actually less than blueberries or raspberries. There might be other berries that are lower, but these are my faves, so I'm going with them. It's quite a lot of food for like quite little calories, and that is the general thing. I'm gonna eat these 
that should go down, do a bit of work, hit the gym. What's happening people? I'm gonna do an upper body workout today and instead of sticking to my usual split, I think I'm just gonna go nuts and do a shitload of volume and a shitload of different exercises because I'm in a new gym today and it's absolutely sick. So obviously I'm like a kid in the candy shop, I'm seeing like machines everywhere and I'm like, I wanna go on that, I wanna go on that. So I'm gonna get around, do a fucking ultimate upper body session of doom. Let's do it. everyone so this is the new place that I'm going to train at it's absolutely fucking ruthless it's called frontline fit performance center it's not like a public gym it's like I think if you join you have to like get some other service from them, like coaching or whatever it is so yeah anyway it's right near my house it's absolutely banging all the machines were literally you know when you get on a machine and you just like that feels like how shit should feel it just feels right that's what it was like and that's why I did an abstract workout with a million different exercises. It was great. I actually feel like I'm gonna get in better shape now because I'm training there, so shout out to these guys for letting me train and letting me film and being sound generally. Check them out if you wanna check them out. Next up, six salads, mate. What is this junction, man? I don't know where I am. I'm probably defo. All right. But let me just not die and I'll carry on. This is gonna be the main one. This is where like we put the meaning into the word volume. Like I'm um, gonna do like the world's most ruthless salad. And uh, it's just gonna be fucking epic. So get ready, mate. So the first thing to do for the main bulk of the salad is throw the leaves in the bowl. Tomatoes get sliced in halves, otherwise they'll just sink to the bottom and they are thrown on top. All the while the chicken is cooking under the grill. Chestnut mushrooms get chopped up and thrown on top. Then I'm using a veg peeler to shave the carrot into super thin slices and throwing those on top too. Cucumber is next to go in, shortly followed by white cabbage. And the final touch is some pomegranate. Next for the dressing, I'm using fat-free natural yogurt as the base. I'm adding garlic and then some Dijon mustard, but you can use English if you prefer. Next is a splash of some white wine vinegar, followed by a good squeeze of lemon juice. A bit of salt and pepper, and then I'm chopping up some mint and coriander, but again, you can use whatever you like. Ideally, I'd blend this, but I feel like it's kind of overkill, so I'm just going to give it a good stir. Chicken goes on top and then the dressing and then give it a good mix around and you are done. Alright, so this absolute beast. Oh shit, I need to weigh it. One sec. Let's do it. Come on. So I'm going to obviously just weigh it all in there. Actually, I can just add up the ingredients, can't I? Let's do it anyway. So that weighs 1.5 kilograms. So then I'm going to weigh the fork and bottle on their own afterwards. Alright. Let's go back over here. Q time lapse of me in this for about three days, mate. Right, I'm about 
about <clears throat> I would say two thirds of the way through. Now I'm getting to all the good shit. Because when you make a salad, this is the thing. If your bowl isn't really big enough, all the good heavy shit sinks to the bottom. You just get leaves on top. Anyway, I'm through it all. I'm into the good shit, but I'm actually flagging like I'm quite full, to be honest. Um, which is good, like, because it's better than being hungry, innit? But you're gonna have to persevere and watch a motivational video on YouTube and maybe I can get it down me. <sighs> yes, yes, I know it's noisy. That's what happens when you stood next to a road and it's kind of windy. So I came for a little walk because it's just like stretching my legs. Because that's what I do. I do a daily walk, mate, every day, at least one. Just to get in some neat, mate. Compared to the rest of cows. Anyway, Coke Zero. Obviously, I know it's not a picture of health, like, it's not like optimal, like, nutritious, but I'm just filling myself up today. Like, you're allowed to Coke Zero once in a while, man. Don't beat yourself about it. Seaweed, 22 cows. And I think, like, one or two cows. So we got 23 cow total. Still definitely a negative calorie walk. So, I'm just gonna fast forward straight to, like, last meal of the day. In a bit. Alright, I know I said I was gonna skip straight to dinner, but I'm not. Because I can't resist the jellies, mate. One calorie goodness. That part, one cal, mate. That's a joke, lad. Anyway, I feel... I feel full. Man, I've got a lot of calories left. I've got this many calories left. I feel like I don't really need it all, but... I'm gonna have it, obviously. Because you can't go under 2,000 calories when you're like big like me, or... You will just waste away. Uh, Alright, we'll do dinner next. See you later. Obviously, you can't just walk off. You have to. You do have to press pause at some point. Yes, yes. Final meal of the day is gonna be some fried turkey mince that looked horrible and it just jiggled about in there. With some onion, peppers. I'm gonna roast some cauliflower and I'm gonna fry slash steam some tender stem broccoli, throw it all together, season the fuck out of it, maybe I'll like add some sauces if I'm feeling like extravagant and I'll show you, let's do it. We got the tender stem fried in a little bit of soy, the turkey mince, peppers, onion, and we got the charred cauliflower. Ooh. Ooh. I am excited, mate. Mm. I would say that's my favourite vegetable, although roasted cauliflower is a close second. I also got a secret weapon just in case. Got some reggae in case it needs it. Got the fucking scales, mate. Got some cows left. That's what we're doing. Let's do it. Final meal incoming. Alright, meal three is done, and are you ready for this, right? It's 10.30pm, I'm pretty full, and I've had 1,700 calories. I actually can't even be asked to eat more. I think what I'm going to do is have a Calippo, well, a black Calippo, an Aldi Calippo, a Calippo and a no Lippo, and then I'm just going to finish on, like, they're only like 65 cals, so I'm going to finish on like under 1800 calories. And that is the power of eating a shit ton of volume. There's obviously downsides, like fiber is probably through the roof, so I'll deal with that tomorrow. <laughs> obviously I spent about like 100 quid on fresh produce, man. Spent a lot in Asda, man. Anyway, it's just the power. I have imparted the knowledge and the tools onto you, and so wield it with care. On. See that? I don't know what that meant. Jordy Lenny is my hero! 